Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for coming by for the second episode. Uh, we were last left off, we are doing very well, although that's to be expected for Babylon early on. We bribed our first war, Mongolia is going to war with Korea. Uh, I'm actually a little bit concerned that uh, Mongolia might take over Korea, because they're very close to each other. They don't really have any cities in the way, and Mongolia likes to have a big military. In fact, uh, they have the largest right now. So I'm a little concerned, although they have the worst production per turn and the worst crop yield and the least land. You know what? Not concerned. They're in last place for score from what we can see, although Korea's pretty close as well. Um, kind of as I expected, best score of anyone we know right now, Inca, because they tend to have a high population. Um, although it doesn't... Well, they've got hills and everything, so they can do their special farms once they have the technology for it. I think they need construction. But they don't have any mountains, so they can't get super strong cities yet. We're working on the Hang Gardens in Babylon, and then we're going to do the National College after. We are almost on library in Akkad, and our happiness is finally okay. We still have crazy population growth in Babylon, though. So many high food tiles that I still need to put farms on to make even better. I'd actually like another worker, but Akkad is probably not the best place to build it. We have that second library, though. Let's actually queue up National College there, in case I forget. And I'm tempted to go watermill for the production and the food. No, granary is more important right now, because it'd be... Well, it'd be quicker to make, but we don't have wheat, deer, or bananas in range of that. So... Hmm. Well, first of all, let's spend some money and buy those horses. I just want to make sure that Milan doesn't get them, because I'd really like them. It's a good resource. I think we'll actually go Watermill, because they'll both give us the same food right now, but the Watermill will give us production, and it only takes a few extra turns. But we really want those things that'll help Akkad grow quickly. We did just finish off the entire um, policy tree for tradition, so all of our cities have a free aqueduct in them, as well as extra growth rate. Aqueduct means they carry over more of their food every single time they grow. Uh, okay, both cities just got a population. Right, so it spent that on that, which I'm happy with. And right, you already have like all of your good tiles taken care of. Have to work with what we've got for now. So we already did our trade route to Kathmandu. We can also do one to Milan. Uh, where is Milan again? Up here. They have a mission for us to get a great admiral, which I have no interest in doing. Uh, they- what's their quest? Kill barbarian encampment. Okay. And discover natural wonder, which is kind of luck-based. Um, Timbuktu would give us science. Give them more science than we'd get. But I could also just give food to Milan and have them grow faster. Or rather, to a cod. Let's do that. Skyrocket their growth rate. I'd really like more workers to improve the land faster because we're not improving the land fast enough. Oh, man. And we just lost our trade route. Cool. Ugh. Alright, so the, you might be wondering why did I move up my bowmen there? Uh, it's so they couldn't charge in and capture my workers. Alright. We're gonna have these barbarians cleaned up real fast. And I should go up there and check. There might be a barbarian encampment up there. So let's, uh, let's be safe. Uh, so this will give me happiness. I'm up for it. We're trading away spare truffles for some cocoa. So we have more room to grow now, which I very much appreciate. And let's get that iron done, I think. Actually, no, finish off the farm, because I already got started on that. Okay, let's go take care of this barbarian encampment quickly. I don't want spawning stuff and becoming an issue. I could probably take it out with one bowman, but this will be faster. Uh, still seven turns left on that, but we really do need the food. So I'll finish up that farm before I go onto the iron. go. And only f six turns left on getting the extra food on that tile, so I'll go for that because that's population growth. Once we have the Hangarn done, we'll get even more ridiculous population growth. 
And we got the money from that, so we're just sending our bowmen back to their respective cities. We do have oligarchy, so we don't pay maintenance cost of units in cities. You can see we pay four a turn. Now we, or we're getting four a turn, now we're getting five a turn, because our guy got back in his city. Which is, again, not really a big deal in the long run, but it's kind of nice, especially early. So we have no specialist slots to use, but we are getting great scientist points entirely because we have the oracle, and that gives us a little bit of points towards that. Our tile, I guess we're just gonna do some random plains tile. It's the best we have for food at the moment. But we are almost done the hanging gardens. Normally I'd be putting more on like mines and hills to get it done faster. But I don't think anyone else has taken tradition. No one we know at least has tradition, so we don't really have competition for it. So I think we're good. Alright, we have extra food from the sheep now. Can't wait to get a stable in that town, too. Alright, population growth has skyrocketed once again! Alright, there we go. Um, get the extra food. And then I want to get the iron. More bargaining chips for us to sell off to cause wars. Kathamandu no longer needs help. Uh, neither of them uh, need help anymore. Got it. Fine with me. So what's our food per turn in Babylon now is 18 and 3 quarters. We are actually second place now for manufactured goods, so someone does have more land than us and is making more production per turn than us by a little bit, by four, which is kind of significant right now. We're actually not the tech leader anymore, and it might be because we've been gunning for so many technologies that are kind of far off. Um, that we're, we're falling behind because we're taking the expensive techs right now, and people might be catching up on the cheaper techs. Um, that would explain that. But it could be that we're actually being outpaced. It's unlikely, but it's possible. Population growth is insane in Babylon right now. I can't wait till we get some uh, specialist slots to really take advantage of it. We are just getting tiles left and right in Babylon. This is insane. Alright, um, so they're getting some food there, and we're gonna get a granary now to speed up their growth even more. The only th Silver surface is done, now this is gonna be powerful. Any freshwater farms are worth even more food, so I really want to farm on that wheat now. I think it'll be six a turn, as long as we keep our, um, our pantheon. So, education is our next big thing, we need theology, then education. <laughs> Um, I'm not worried about your tourism, so I'm going to accept open borders entirely to make you like me more, because you're a threat and I don't want you becoming an issue. So, I think I actually want to take that production. Normally I wouldn't this early on, I'd really focus growth. But I'd rather the production just to get the granary done faster, I think it'll pay off. So we need to go into another tree now. Uh, this is the big one here, is we can take... Patronage is always a good idea to get diplomacy on our side because the early bonuses in patronage are very good for keeping, um, making we don't need to pay as much money to keep the uh, city states on our side. Commerce, the opening bonus is 25% more gold income out of my capital, which is quite nice. What's our gold income here? 13 a turn, so we can get a good little boost to money there. And if we get a lot of trade routes going out of there, we can make that a little stronger if we make it our trade hub. Unfortunately, it's not coastal or else I'd be able to use cargo ships, which are worth more. Which honestly turns me away from commerce a little bit. Really, the only thing in commerce I want is the opener. Mercantilism is also really, really nice if you are going a science victory through freedom, because the final bonus in that is to get a uh, the ability to buy spaceship parts, and having mercantilism along with that to have a substantial discount is really nice. Aesthetic is... A bit appealing right now because right away I earn any kind of great artist, writer, or musician 25% faster, which is a solid opener for keeping pace in ideologies. So I think I'm actually going to get the opener of aesthetic. If I get anything else in it, it is iffy because I haven't been focusing much on my culture early on. We don't even have a writer's guild yet, mostly because I'm focusing so heavily on making sure I don't lose a scientific advantage. Speaking of, um, we're probably only one technology behind the Inca right now. We are still worst place for soldiers, which does mean we're an appealing target to the rest of the world, so we need to be careful. I really want a war between uh, Fetchakudi and Ahsoka. Uh, 
Right. No, I want. Oh, you don't know each other. Okay. I'll let them do their thing for now then. Those two actually don't know each other. And it's uh, Askia or something, not Ahsoka. I don't know where I got Ahsoka. I think it's some different leader. All right, one turn on the National College. We're getting 35 signs a turn, and now we're getting 53. Wow. Okay. Um, so we're going to have so much population in this city that I'm actually cool with taking the Raiders Guild in here. We can build so many things so fast. This is really fast building for this difficulty. Okay, we have even more food in that one city. Wow, we really do need more workers to keep pace with everything. This is insane. You know what? I kind of want production. <laughs> uh, five turns. It's still five turns if I take the food, so I'll take the food. I really actually should have... Oh, right, I'm actually going to need a road between those two to make the money. I actually really want more mines uh, at this point. I also really need more workers badly. Because we are not keeping pace with our growth at all in the capital. Uh, we got another place for a mine in the future there. We might actually do a farm there because it's uh, along the water. Two food, two production off that tile, which would be pretty nice. In this place, uh, we have the granary, so it's growing much faster now. I'm kind of thinking just going a market. Yeah, just get a market. Want to make sure that our money is always okay. And the Writer's Guild is done. Thankfully, we can take off two of the garbage tiles and put it into culture and writing. Uh, so without this, it's 33 turns until a policy. With it, it's 24. So we shave off a lot of turns and we get progress on our great writer, which I appreciate. Uh, Hang Gardens counts as a garden too, so we do have a bonus towards um, producing it. So we can see here, uh, we're getting that great writer a lot faster than we normally would. A market would be really quick here and really nice, but I want a national epic as early as possible because that increases the great person production rate in that city even more. That applies to our great scientists, which is our biggest concern. So things are going very well for us right now, but it could turn around at any moment if someone wants to declare one. So we have the least happiness in the game, which is pretty normal for this difficulty. AI have huge happiness bonuses on this difficulty. Uh, seven turns, still seven turns if I take a regular tile. So this game is probably going to be a little bit boring. Uh, for the next little while. We're going to have our Meteoric Rise, but it's going to be a while before we do our Warring. Uh, he just raised into the Medieval Era, which I believe we're already in. Um, yes, we're already in Medieval. In fact, we're not too far off the Renaissance. Uh, right after we're done Education, I would like Guilds so we can get the Artist Guild. Uh, I'd like to work to Astronomy so we can get an Observatory. Uh, I'm going a super, super heavy science focus early on, more so than I normally would, but I do think this will pay off. So I think I'm actually going to... I'm happy with this food output from here for now, and I'm actually going to start on roading up the connection between these two cities, because I think the gold bonus will be substantial. We're now getting six uh, food a turn off that uh, Riverside Wheat Tile. And you'll notice... Oh, nope, it fixed itself. There's a glitch there where it looks like it wasn't fully built yet. That happens sometimes in the DirectX version of this game, I'm not sure why. In the DirectX 9 version, it doesn't happen... However, other weirdness happens, which is why I don't use that version. <laughs> really hope I get that tile soon. I kind of don't want to buy it, but I'd like it for more bargaining chips. All right, we're done our national epic, uh, which sped up once again our great person production. Now keep in mind that um, art-based great people and non-art-based great people do not share um, requirements. If I get a great scientist, it means my great merchant will take more points to accumulate, but it won't affect my great writer. Those two sections of the culture and the non-culture great people, uh, they're separate. So market is very appealing right now because once I get that road finished, that bonus will go along with the market bonus and we'll be making a lot of money. Another settler is really appealing right now to grab up this area. Um, 
Or actually, you know what? It might be better to grab something down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking more of down here. We wouldn't be getting any luxuries we don't already have, which is unfortunate. But we would get Lake Victoria, and it's a high food potential place. I think I am actually going to take the Settler and go straight to a circus after to help with the happiness. Because I... I'm not gonna have much happiness after that. Uh... Okay, I just finished my trade with Genghis Khan. Is his war still going? Yes, his war's been going for a while. Neither of them have lost a city that I can see yet. I should also get a scout, actually. I have completely neglected scouting for a long time. So I'm actually gonna tell uh, Akkad to do that after their market next turn. Okay, that road is done. If I zoom in enough, it actually appears. <laughs> it's a strange glitch. Um, okay. Let me think for a moment here. Have these two met each other yet? They have. Can I convince them to go to war? I can, but this guy's asking for a lot. Alright, I don't want any of my horses or any of my iron. Hmm. How much do you want on top of this? Hmm. Hmm. I won't give you gold. That's asking for too much. Not my gold resource, that is. Alright, driving a steep bargain, but I really want this war to happen. Alright, I'm not going higher than that. Uh, Patrick Hudi, can I convince you to declare war on someone who's already at war? Mana. Hmm. There we go. Got him to go to war with someone who's already at war. I don't like the idea of Ahsoka. I keep calling him Ahsoka. I'm just going to say Songhai. I don't like the idea of the Songhai um, not being at war because I'm an appealing target for them. But anything to get Pachacuti at war right now because I want him focusing less on his economy because... He can really start to run away with things if he gets his population booming. Right now, I have the highest population, but I've fallen behind in terms of crop yield and manufactured goods to someone else. My literacy is also falling behind. Um, Korea is actually beating me in technologies right now. So we have our first great work done. So we are now building up tourism, although tourism plays a very minor role at the moment. We're still working on this road between our cities. Sweet, we have our scout done. I'm going to have a manually, or rather, um, automatically scout to speed things up a little bit. And we're going to go straight for a university now that we have education. Really want our universities up fast. The happiness is more important, but right after the circus, we are going to get our, um, we're going to get our, uh, university in our capital to increase the great person production rate substantially, which we desperately need. I really need those scientists. All right, that worker can do the rest of this. I'm gonna go up there and start increasing my stuff more up there. And it looks like there's actually a uh, an encampment up there that they've never asked me to destroy, which is incredibly confusing that they've never asked me to destroy that. I think I want this tile right here, or no, rather this tile. You have an unemployed citizen. Well, I'd rather he be employed. <laughs> uh, I'll take the food. See, this is why I need more workers. My population, or my workers can't keep up with the population growth. I don't like that he's moving the military near me. Hey, do you want to go declare war on someone? That's too much. <laughs> Genghis Khan? That's cheaper. Korea. Same price. Declare war on Korea because he's competing with me for science and I don't like that. That offends me. Um, I'll give up happiness if I need to because I think you're about to declare war on me and I'll do anything to keep that from happening. Alright, we're going to have a lot more unhappiness early on than I had anticipated. But it's to prevent a war against me that I am not ready for. You know what? No, stay on that tile there. Uh, I hate to... 
give up on some food like that, but it's going to get us that happiness faster. Ooh, there we go. That'll get the population growth going. It's so slow, but even with the 75% growth down for being unhappy, he's still doing it. Uh, actually, you know what? Get the granary first. Okay, we'll need a road down there too, which will be at a bit of an expensive road, but it's a small price to pay. Coco from Pachacuti. Oh, okay, Pachacuti, I really need a new deal with you. I can't afford that kind of unhappiness. Okay, good, you're still cool with that deal. Milan longs for culture. Whoever generates the most culture in a period of 45 turns wins. That might be me. There is no rating on here for culture, but um, I'm not bad for culture, actually. I'm getting 25 a turn. It's possible someone's outpacing me. Wouldn't surprise me too, too much. I would really like a stable at some point for the production, honestly, but I also really need a market. I'm just happy we're getting that university done, though, because that's a much higher priority. Um. And we're also able to get an artist guild now, which I'd really, really like. Uh, but again, lower priority than some other things. I'm going to do that for now and probably manually change it later. Okay, we're going to have that road done very soon. We'll get a big bonus to our income. Come <laughs> we got our quick old sailing. Uh, so we could make it so we get our cultural stuff 50% faster, which is nice. 50% of the excess happiness turns into culture. See, that sucks because we don't have much happiness to throw around because we're growing so quickly. Um, and these things are good that we could go into. 33% extra culture in all cities with a world wonder. Well, our capital has a world wonder and you only need one of them to get that bonus. Um, ooh, that's powerful. Commerce opener itself, though, is worth a lot of money. I'm going to take that. That itself got us three gold a turn and it's going to get up even more. Now that next turn we'll have a city connection. And we're making 9 a turn now. So you can see here we're making 9.9 .9 gold a turn on city connections while only losing 5 on tile maintenance. So we're already making a profit by having that road there. It also helps our workers run from one to the other for whatever they need to upgrade more desperately. Um, I immediately need to get a worker down there to work on the resources so we have more bargaining chips. Or else I would upgrade the many unupgraded hills in Babylon. Optics done. It's another tech we just need to get the way to the compass to get to astronomy. We're just picking up some old techs here, which got us back to number one in literacy. Peace has been declared between Pachacuti and Genghis Khan, which pisses me off because I told them to declare that war not long ago. So I really lost a lot of resources on that, and I'm not thrilled about it. Genghis Khan's not even at a war anymore. Genghis... I am Oh, I want those two to go to war. Actually, Genghis, you have spare I'm happiness. Bad. I'll pay you, you for this. Are... What do you want for it? Nine a turn? Fuck it, I'll take it. I need the happiness. Alright, so we're paying nine gold a turn. The money we just made, we we're spending it uh, on getting wine from Mongolia. God, now I could go for wine. Not specifically from Mongolia. So we have more horses. Another four horses is our bargaining chip. Population. You know what? We're unhappy. You might as well put it into that production in gold. Korea lost its capital, which I was kind of expecting. Uh, are they dead dead? They're dead dead. They only had a capital. That is pathetic. You want to... Okay, so you got a lot of salt. I might want that at some point. But you want to declare war on someone else? Uh, have my horses. Some. Oh, you're the worst. How much do you want? That'll work? Okay. Mongolia is at war with them now. We have horses over here. That's a good tile. And the city's already doing okay. I need to upgrade the capital cities more. Next turn we'll have that university though, and things are going to take a big upturn. Alright, so already we shaved off a whole turn on the compass doing that. 
Uh, start on... No, I want to... I want to farm that and that. So... Go here, because I want... Uh, yeah, right there I want to mine. Okay. So we can get rid of two garbage tiles, replace those with university students. Our scientists skyrocketed. We shaved off another turn on the compass doing that. And we're going to have a great scientist in three turns, as opposed to 20 turns. Wow, that's a bonus. And we're already working on our artists' guild, so we can get them going as well. And we have another four horses down there we can get. Sweet. Declaration of Friendship has expired. I desperately want a new one. Excellent idea. Thank you. Anything to keep them from killing me. Now, they could backstab me. I don't know what their AI's chance of a backstab is. But, uh, it's peace of mind, you know? Alright, what did we get? Francis Bacon? Yeah, we got Francis Bacon. Okay, so we're gonna have another Science Academy. It's gonna skyrocket our science output. I find the great thing in this world is not so much where... All right, we're going towards astronomy. We're making 98 science a turn. And now we are making, let's work, get off of that one. 104 science a turn. Uh, we just shaved off two turns on astronomy. Powerful, very powerful. No, no thank you. I'd really like some trade routes, actually, to deal with our money situation. And we almost have more truffles to trade away, which I'd very much like. Brussels calls for faith. I'm not going to win that one. Another university done. Get a circus. We need the happiness. And take off one of your crap tiles to put it into science. Um, this tile's also a little bit crap. I don't like losing this much money a turn, but it is what it is. We'll switch it around more if we need to later. And you just got a population. Yeah, put it back on that money. Sure. Um, I'm going to shop around a little bit before I take your money. Yeah, like this. I, I prefer this. I want the salt. Thank you. That gives us happiness instead. I'd rather the happiness than the money. We've got another great um, writer there. We now have H.G. Wells. Nice. I th so our tourism is up even more. Uh, seeks a natural wonder. Well, we've got a little bit of scouting going, but not much. Artist skill just finished. We're getting more gold down here, and we have more population growth as this place is basically able to grow population again. More gold coming in to the point that we're almost breaking even. They demand copper. We have the market going and then the stable going. Oh man, I'm tempted to switch to Machu Picchu though. I gotta do it. Machu Picchu is so, so, so much money. All right, we're gonna work on Machu Picchu. <laughs> How many turns can we shave off on Machu Picchu? Um, hmm. Probably nothing at the moment. Let's just stick with this for now. Hi, Inca. Now, Inca actually have a city called Machu Picchu that they build reasonably early on, which is really confusing. Yeah, they just call it Machu in this one. I think they changed it because in Civilization IV, it was really confusing having a wonder and a city called Machu Picchu. So we have a spare citizen here. Uh, if I, I could put him in the Artist Guild, actually. <laughs> I kind of am tempted, but I could also take him out of that and put him on this tile, and I'd shave a turn off Machu Picchu. Probably an, another turn once the mine is done as well. Machu Picchu is a lot of money for us to earn. It's tempting. I think I'm gonna stick with building Machu Picchu a turn earlier, just in case someone tries to steal it from us. Because that is another one of those wonders that AI really like to aim for. Okay, so we're not saving any extra turns on that being three production instead of two, but still good to have the more production. So it's time to start farming some of these uh, freshwater hills. That'll get us a lot. 
Reformation beliefs. Yeah, we're gonna the religion game is gonna be very strong because so many people went piety. We've hit the ADs recently. And I have no coastal cities, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have a hard time exploring across the ocean. Oh, thank you. That is gonna be powerful. Okay, Erlongs for culture, which we might get, because again, our culture production might be the best. It's hard to say. Losing grasp on Monaco. What do they give me? Culture. That's a shame to lose, but there's not much I can do about it. Uh, circus is done to keep the happiness going. Amphitheater would be very nice because I think I'm running out of great work slots, uh, which is up here. Yeah, we have no more slots for great artists, or rather great writers, and we'll have another great writer in 30 turns, which is not as far off as it sounds, so an amphitheater wouldn't hurt. I'd also really like caravans, honestly. Um, I think I need the amphitheater more. But I really do like the idea of getting some more caravans. We have no spare luxuries right now to trade away, but we will soon when that gold is done. Oh, peace was just declared very early between two of my neighbors that I don't like. I'm the tech leader still, right? Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna put my spy guarding Babylon. I don't want them stealing my tech. A castle wouldn't hurt right about now, going into chivalry. Uh, but I think we need to pick up some old tech. That we are very far behind on. I also wouldn't mind going acoustics early for Musicians Guild. Alright, so we're gonna catch up on some old technology and really skyrocket our literacy score. Three things. City becomes religious. Islam, let's learn about that. Islam. Uh, was made by the Songhai, and uh, Reformation is you can purchase any, yeah, to the glory of God, purchase any great person with faith after industrial. That's really nice. Um, follower, here we go. Uh, purchase pre-industrial land units, and temples provide two extra happiness if you have at least five followers. I was hoping for something good. <laughs> I was really hoping you'd give me pagodas or something. Pagodas are awesome. Okay, we have a spare gold resource now. And let's, I'd normally get the wheat first, but I want the horses because I need bargaining chips. I need these people to go to war with other people. Uh, God, they know almost no one. Go to war with the only guy you know. They can still go to war. Uh. Mongolia? Oh, I don't like this situation. Okay, no one I know right now is willing to go to war with another person, which instantly means I'm target number one. Let's, how much is this? 110 to upgrade my bowman to composite bowman, and I need the defense, and I don't have that kind of money to spend right now. Machu Picchu will give me the money I need, and I'm almost done it. Chichen Itza was built elsewhere, that's fine. I'm concerned, because I'm totally target number one. I've got to be careful. Now, don't get me wrong, the enemies are not smart with how they move their armies, but I don't exactly have choke points to work with anywhere but Babylon. I might need some of those Babylonian walls to protect me. That would keep me pretty safe, but I haven't built them up till this point because I haven't had a need to. I'm going to keep that tile for now for the production. I want that library done sooner. And I have no other tiles that give me almost any food to make it worth it. Uh, there's a bit of a scary situation I'm in. We're just gonna have to work with what we've got. There we go. Instrumental. And we have another policy. Rationalism immediately. Here's a tip to every single player of this game. The second rationalism is available, take the opener. 10% more science while your empire is happy. That's a really big bonus. And also immediately after get secularism, no matter what, you, what your other focus is, because two extra science from every single specialist is enormous. Those two bonuses alone are incredibly powerful. Our literacy is a very, very huge lead on everyone else. Our population, two and a half million already. All around, we're doing great. Someone's beating us for manufactured goods by a lot. Um... Likely someone on some other continent. 
Machu Picchu's done. 25% extra gold from City Connections, and we are in the positives by a large amount. That will stack even more when we start getting things like a market. But we need an observatory first for the sake of our science. I'm just gonna go ahead and queue up a market for after, though. Because we know that's what we want. But again, 50% more science in the city out of an observatory. We already make almost all of our science out of this one city. We're about to get another observatory. It's incredible. I really want a road from here to there. But at the same time, I need to upgrade tiles as well. You know what? The rest of my population growth in this for a while is probably going to go into citizens. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Um, oh crap, what did I accidentally move something away from? This tile, maybe? You know what? I'm fine with giving up on that tile for the sake of more culture. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start on the road. Open borders, sure. Anything to make you like me slightly more right now. I really want you two to go to war with each other again, though. Like, seriously, I know Mongolia will get his ass kicked, but I don't care. I just want one of these guys to be able Okay. He's asking for a lot, and I'm willing to spend a lot. Do it. <laughs> this war better last between you two this time. Uh... We lose a turn on the observatory, but we get a lot of science. Um, you know what? Yeah, just do it. Yeah, it's worth it to me. It's a lot of science. We have three science academies there. When pieces of okay, we have the ability to use trade routes internally to get production now, which is nice. But we also have the ability to get the workshop, which is a great building for keeping our production going. Someone stole philosophy from Babylon. There's not much we can do until we have chivalry, which I don't think we have yet. Uh, because that gets us the building that protects us from spies. We have our amphitheater done. That's good. I'm tempted to get a workshop. I also really want workers, as I keep talking about. There's so much I need. I need a coliseum for happiness. I need trade caravans. You know what? Get a trade caravan. We haven't had one in a long time, and we're at the point where barbarians are way less of an issue. So it's likely never going to get raided. We have an extra uh, population there. I really have nowhere to put it. Market for now, just take some gold. I might actually want to buy those those truffles to get them faster, but I also want to save up my money a little. We have more horses to trade with. All right, let's have both of our workers focus on making this road as quickly as possible so we're losing less money. Because until the road is connected, we're not making our money back. The longer the road takes to build, the more expensive it is, essentially. This city's population is growing faster than it can handle. Which is expected, I mean, it's got Lake Victoria, that's a very powerful tile. I'd like those sheep, but they're probably gonna get it first, and if I buy it, they might take it as an offense. I'm not gonna risk it for one sheep. It's not worth the risk, especially considering I cannot defend myself at the moment. And we've gone to overtime again. Someone stole theocracy, or theology rather. That's that's an old tech for me, so I'm uh, not overly concerned, gotta say. We stopped paying him gold. Good. That or we stopped giving him the resource gold. They've never been clear between that. Okay, we stopped giving him the resource gold. Not until I've shopped around, sorry. Up oh, and you see, this is why I shop around. Give me marble for it. Thank you, that's happiness. Which keeps our cities growing. Which makes me actually uh, want to put you on food. I really wish I had a farm there, but I don't. Again, I need more workers, and I'm stupid and lazy and haven't done that two turns until the observatory's done. Once the observatory's done, we'll end the episode. They're rising all at once. Our great artist is done, our first one that is, and we have a great art slot in our palace by default, so we can use it right away. So, 
uh, oh, it's not chivalry, right? It's banking is what protects our technology. Well, banking's pretty powerful for us right now, so we will work our way through to banking. After that, I'm really going to neglect the bottom tree for a while, even though chemistry and fertilizer are awesome. Because I'm thinking a super early scientific theory, electrical, and then we use Oxford's university to immediately get radio for quick freedom ideology. And from that point, we might be so far ahead that we'll actually start in the whole military thing I was talking about. Man, we might get this game done real fast. Okay, so we're at 161, oh, we're at 161 science a turn. Observatory will finish, and we will have 194 a turn. Metal casting stolen. It's okay, it's another old tech. I was just late to the party on getting it. I kind of want to just feed my city's population and do internal trade routes. So that's what I'm going to do. Grow Babylon faster. You know what? Keep on the caravans. Let's get more internal trade going. Because again, it doesn't take away food from a previous city. It just adds it to your next one. All right. Next episode, uh, we grow more and probably start our military production. Until next time, have a nice day.